Hello and welcome to AutoCADs. So in this lecture, I have brought you a very interesting thing. Basically over here, you can see that there's a plan and the plan is very normal one, but inside this plan, you will see that these are the accessories that has been put. You can see that there's a car that has been put. You have seen that there's a toilet, there's a toilet accessories, there's a kitchen, kitchen accessories. So these all are things that is being put up inside this floor plan. But if you are going to directly create this then it takes a lot of time to create even a single thing so what autocad provides to you autocad provides to you a predefined library that contains all this design that you can just directly import it and use it by your own way so these are basically two kinds of library the first one is known as the design tool palette and the second one is known as the design center so we are going to see both of them both of the things today so the first thing that we are going to see is known as the tool palettes. So in the tool palettes, you will get a predefined designs like over here. So how to just approach a tool palette for the tool palette, you just have to go inside this tool in this menu bar and inside this tool, you will see that there's a palette option and inside this palette, you will see that there's a tool palette. Just click on this tool palette and once you clicked on that, a very small dialog box basically will going to open it's a long dialog box and over here you can see that these are the tabs so if you want the architectural design then you can just go for its architectural if you want a mechanical you can just go for the mechanical if you want electrical then you can just go for the electrical so from here you can have different kinds of design for the interesting let's just go for the interest we are going to go for the architectural first and inside this architecture you will see that all the things that basically required in the architectural designs is present like if you want a tree then you can just click on this tree and once you clicked on that this will going to be selected and a tree will going to follow your mouse you can just put out this tree anywhere by just clicking it and this tree will going to be placed but it's not over yet. If I'm going to click on this tree, you will see that there's an arrow. If I'm going to click on this arrow, you will see that the list will going to open. And from this list, you can even select different kinds of views as well as types of trees. Like this is the elevation that we have selected. Similarly, we have the shrub. In the shrub, you will have this shrub in the plan view. And if you want it in the elevation view, you can have the elevation of the shrub like this. Similarly, you can have evergreen trees like this. And then we have the ever basically deciduous trees in plan and elevation both you can just select any one of them like this similarly you will have the doors or you can just see that there's a vehicle also you can just go and call out a car like this so this is a complete car that autocad provides to you and you can just click on this and you will see an arrow again you can just click on this arrow you can just select the car in any view and different types of cars is also available that you can select from here like trucks also so we have the trucks also so these are the predefined library that you can use similarly we can just go for the mechanical and we have different mechanical parts like if you want a nut you can just click on this nut and there's a nut that is placed up over here you can just click on this nut and then again the arrow will going to be appear you can just select the size from this part Similarly, we have the bolt. You can just have the bolt like this. And for the bolt also, you can just click on that. And there is an arrow. You can just click on that. Select the size in the metric system. Then we have, we can even increase or decrease the length from this part like this. So this is what tool palette is. You can just select a civil and you can just select a speedometer if you want. So this is a speedometer. And you can just click on the speedometer and you can just change the limit. Let's say that you want a speed of 100. So you can just place 100 over here. And if you want to change, if I'm going to click on this and again, arrow will going to open. And from here, there's a different types of basically a limit, speed limit that is available like this end maximum and then all in all limits like this. So these are all things that is available. Now you can say that these sizes are different like over here this is a big size so you can just increase or decrease it using the scale tool like if you want to decrease it you can just use the scale to decrease it at a certain level that you want. Switch off this snap. So you can just use it like this. 
So these are the th uh, safes that is available, but it's not over yet. Solid, uh, sorry, AutoCAD still provides you a lot of design things. So how we can just do that? For that, you have to write design center in the command box. And you will see that once you write it, there's a design center that will going to available. Click on this and you can see that a design library will going to open. From here, make sure that you first click on this home that will going to refresh the page. If it is in the different section, like over here, if it is in the environment section, if I'm going to press the home, it will directly going to come in the home place. From here, you have to click on this E and the US folder. And inside this, you will see that there's a design center. Let's double click over this design center and you will see that there's a list of many designs that is available. So inside this design center, you will get a lot of lot of designs. So over here, if I'm going to need a home accessory, so you, if I'm going to, this is the home designer, just double click over that and inside this you will go ahead, you have to go inside this blocks and you will see that there's a bathtub. If you want a bathtub, you can just select a bathtub from here and just drag it on the screen and we have got the bathtub ready. Similarly, you want a tap, you can have the tap. If you want a toilet, you can have the toilet in the different view and elevations that is available. Like if you want a circular window, you can have the circular window like this. So this is a circular window. If you want a staircase, you can even have the staircase like this. Similarly, you can have, I just go top from here and you can have the kitchen appliances. Just go for this block. And you will see that there is a different light switches and all. So this is what other design center is. You can just explore these designs that is present over here. The difference between the design center and tool palette is basically the first difference is the tool palette contain design center contains a lot of uh, basically shapes. You can have many shapes over here as compared or many designs over here as compared to a tool palette. But the difference, one more difference is that, that these designs are basically, the, you can't change its design shape and all. You can see that these are the fixed lengths and all. So it will not going to change. But if you are going to import anything from the tool palette, it, it will going to have the property to change some of the things like just go for the tool palette. So if I am going to click, create the international speed limit then we can just double click over that and we have those things to change it like if you want to change the value we can just change it from here so these are the things that you can change but that you will not get inside the design center so these are the two difference that is basically in between the tool palettes and design center and now I need you to explore this and you can just explore the design center with the hydraulic things, HVAC designs and all. So these are very much things that you can just explore. If you find it any doubt, you can just ask me in the comment section. And if you want a full course on AutoCAD, you can just go to our Udemy section and there we will have a complete comprehensive course on AutoCAD and the link is provided in the description section you can just click on the link and you can just go for our courses believe me this is the most comprehensive course one of the most comprehensive course that you get in on autocad on udemy so make sure that uh, if you want a full course then you can enroll it from that link thank you and catch up you in the next one